everyone. Welcome to another segment of Tales from the Blind Side. I got my brothers Jamal Jackson, Center Stage 67, and Todd Harriman is here to talk to you. us about another game, you know. Hey, hold, hey, hold on. Can we like do like the Instagram shout outs? An uh, Instagram shout out? Yeah, I don't man, really ahead. do the I don't really do the Twitter like that anymore. Oh, okay. Well go, well, go ahead, man. What, 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 so what it's you want to do? Jamal six seven. That's it. You know, you don't yeah, gotta man. introduce me at Center Stage six seven anymore. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't snap a ball anymore. I'm sorry. Well, Jack, <laughs> just because, just because you left the game doesn't mean that you're not center stage in life. On the Zoom, on the Zoom conference, I'm kind of like upper corner or something like that. <laughs> nah, you're, you're lower left corner to me. <laughs> you're to my left. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. So Trey, you're right over here. <laughs> yeah. right, center, so right down there. Yeah, yeah, so right. yeah, for now on, man, hey, man, Jamal 6'7". Let's just go, let's just go Jamal 6'7", okay. All right, my <laughs> man, all right, Jamal 6'7", okay. <laughs> Duly noted and corrected. Right. Twitter, Twitter is for the boomers. Twitter yeah, is for Twitter, the boomers. I like Twitter, though. <laughs> Me too, that's where I'm at. That's where I spend Yeah, that's where I am, time. man. I like Twitter. It's fine. It's <laughs> hilarious. But yeah, man, all right. So here we go. Let's get into it, man. You know, to get out to Arizona, you know, it's the second time for Jalen Hurts to go out there and show us what he can do. Start off with a safety. Yeah. You know, uh, how did you guys just going into this game? How did you guys see it? And, uh, you know, going leading up to the game and then just tell me what you, what your feels was on Jalen Hurts. Uh, I mean, after I saw the, um, the, the safety, you know, I kind of like went back into when I got my first start and, <sighs> It was against Dallas. Like, I played good. Like, we had, like, 177 yards rushing, and it was, like, a season high, and they were, like, oh, the young kid showed promise, you know, at center, you know, with the uh, with the movement up front and whatnot. And mm -hmm. that week, I'm buying into all the praise, like, shit, I can play in this league. And then the very next game, we played the Giants and not get my ass handed to me, <laughs> like, the entire game. So I'm like, damn, I hope he's not experiencing that because, you know, last week, he played real – he played pretty good against the Saints team. You know, they were undefeated. A lot of people didn't have them winning. I did. I was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, you know, maybe it would be some of some of that, you know, we winning, everybody's rooting me on or whatever, and I played good. So, you know, let me feel as though that I've kind of arrived, so to speak. But after that first quarter, I was like, well, damn, man. Like, I hope he can, like, kind of turn it around, which he did. So – I was impressed by what I seen, man. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, by him being in the situation that he was in in college, like the offense with Alabama, also the offense with uh, the guy at Oklahoma, you know, it, it kind of prepared him for this moment because he's pretty good at both running and passing. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, I, I'm, I'm glad that Doug decided to stick with him for – this week and this week alone again. So <laughs> we'll see yeah. how that works out. But he, he played good, man. Like he, he played far better than I expected. Let me just put mm -hmm. it that way. All right. Yeah. Ty, what'd you think? I mean, I was I was excited to see how how he come out for a second game and and you know a different different squad. Arizona's a nice team, I think. You know, I think that they got some good players on both sides of the ball. Great challenge. Uh it was going to be a hill that we were going to have to climb if we we're going to, you know, make this playoff run. Um, but uh, that safety, man, the first thing I did as soon as that happened was I hopped on the old boomer Twitter because I just wanted to see <laughs> all the hate come All the hate, down. right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Just so much hate. So much hate. And mm -hmm. I just find it funny that, bro, the kid played. I thought he played great. Um, you know, the safety – I don't know, bro. I, I can't say that I would have done happened. anything different. Yeah, shit happens. Right. I mean, right. God dang. That's like, I've got, I've held somebody in the end zone before. I just got away with it. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like everybody was watching me throw the ball somewhere. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, been there, done that kind of. Um, I thought that he played well. I mean, yeah, there were six sacks. I mean, I think that they saw his game a little better. You know, maybe mm – -hmm practicing against Kyler Murray, they, they know how to rush a, a, a little bit more mobile of a quarterback and are able uh -huh. to kind of corral him a little better and not mm -hmm. let him uh, escape and reestablish the pocket or, or run for the first down. But I, I thought it looked good, man. And I just, <clears throat> I don't know why now that Doug has got 
hurts in there that he's going on this um this method of you got to earn it every week you know what i mean like what what happened with that earlier why why didn't we get to a point where you were just like you know you didn't play that well this week let's see what else we got going on you know it it just seems the kid looks like your starter right now i don't know why wouldn't you just be like yeah, he's going to start the rest of the year for us, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't think I don't think Carson even wants to come back. Like, yeah, bro, no, like Carson don't want nothing to do with it. Carson doesn't yeah. want no challenge. Yeah, he doesn't want any competition. He just wants the throne to be his. Yeah, at least and, that's and, how it appears. Yeah, and, yeah. That's, and that's not going to work here. I mean, because even if you and, and that was my thing with the um. With, with, with what was going on into this, I to me, if I were Carson, I'd just be like, look, go ahead and just trade me because I'm not coming back for it to be a competition. You just signed me to this big deal. I'm supposed to be your guy. You all right, you start Jalen. All right, then when they, then you just need to ride out with him and let's just let this be it. You know what I'm saying? And just try to find someone else that can take take me on. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's a tough spot. I mean, like I said, I want both of these players to be successful more mm-hmm. so. I would love them to both be, I would hate for <laughs> for Carson Wentz to go and like haunt the Eagles for the rest of their career somewhere else. You know what I mean? I would hate to yeah. see that happen, but you know, as history has showed, he, if he goes somewhere else, he's probably going to have some success. Um, mm-hmm. You know, uh, I, I don't, I don't feel like I have to pick a side one way or the other. I feel like whoever plays the best should get the chance to start the next week. And yeah. since Carson hasn't had a chance to show that he's playing better than Hertz right now, you got to let Hertz keep riding. So I agree. I, agree. I don't know. What's Philadelphia without a quarterback controversy? You yeah, know I mean? nothing. I mean, this is, this is just what it is. Let's go back to that safety real quick, man, because I noticed this a little bit in their man protection, you know, because you had a tight end in on that protection there to the right side. And to me, it looked like Matt Pryor got a little confused with who they needed, what their responsibilities were, you know, because, you know, when you have had that tight end in there, you know, that that's pretty much telling you, all right, we got a little bit of man protection. You have that little triangle where you had a defensive end yep. and whoever that guy is that's out there. And it seems like it wasn't a point of emphasis during the week that you need to be looking out there, not just at the defensive end to see if the tight end has them. You got to have that responsibility to that second level. And it seems like everybody went to the left a little bit. And then next thing you know, you have that rusher coming in late, bam. And then there's the safety. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. not a tackle, man. But, man, Matt's been kind of like the doormat of every defensive end or defensive lineman he's lined up against. Man. He's just been mm-hmm. playing pretty bad, man. Like, it, it's, it, it, it's painful to see, you know, a guy that big and I mean, I'm assuming he has some type of power with him to just mm-hmm. be clueless out there, like yeah. week in and week out. Like guys are like running past him. He's not blocking guys. Like, yeah. how do you not know this? I mean, we, I understand. Yeah. It's the thir- 13th all- new offensive line lineup, which should mm-hmm. be even more of a reason why you shouldn't have this shit down by now because you've played, you know? Yeah. So I don't, yeah, I, but, I don't know, man. I, but like, this I, is, this was my problem. On oh, one of them, the one where his, uh, I think his first sack, he was laid off the ball. And yeah. it was a three-step drop. So he was laid off the ball. It was a three-step drop. Jalen didn't throw the ball. So next thing you know, the end is chasing Jalen down out to the left side of the pocket. So I saw that one, and my my response would be, okay, you know you laid off the ball. You know you're about to give up a sack. Hey, man, don't push him towards the quarterback grabbing yeah. you. Yeah, like, yeah. Go ahead and take that to, holding yeah, penalty. Take the holding, you know. Yeah. Like, at least take the hit off the quarterback. You know, you're gonna get the penalty anyway. I'd rather take the ten instead mm-hmm. of you know him getting sacked and possibly injured. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I felt like he was laid out the ball, and then there was another one on um, later on in the game that was the sack fumble that caused the sack fumble. On that particular play, it was a dual read because you know you had the running back was getting out of the pocket, so he had a dual read. And what he did was he stepped left. You know what I'm saying? Because you had that, you had a two look right there. So you have 48 and 43, the defensive end outside. And I don't know if this is how it's taught or what the situation was, but he stepped left instead of setting vertical. And once Dude, he stepped left, he was done. Th- that can solve, if not 90, 95% of all of their issues that they're having on the outside the vertical set you can see everything it makes it easier 
I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, you kind of give up a little bit with the bull, but hey, you got to anchor down in there. But I mean, it's just simple. like, I, I, I don't know why he stepped aside. I'm not a tackle, but I'm quite mm-hmm. sure in a dual set, you want to be as square as possible to the line of scrimmage so you can pick off games or whatnot. So I, yeah. I, I don't know. I digress. Yeah, but yeah. Juan, Juan always uh, taught us, all right, I need you to set the widest guy, but feel the inside guy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You set so, the wider yeah. guy, you look at the inside. Yeah. Yeah. So right. you know what I'm saying? You set the wider guy, you you make sure you set watch one you, set too. Yeah, you know, so to me, I just felt like, why did you go left? There was no need for you to go left. I know you have a dual read here. That's fine. But why did you step down inside? Because now when it's time for you to get back out there on the defensive end, shit, you too late now. It's all it's party over. Bro, I just think he's not he, – I just don't think he's confident in his responsibilities. And that's mm-hmm. causing – I think that's causing a, a lack of, of technique. He's getting off the ball late. Like, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, you're not going to get off the rock on time. You're sitting there thinking. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and on that safety – if he, if him and the in the tight end got this triangle, it's either a squeeze, a salad, or a fan. That's what yeah. at least what we called it when we were going. And it was but a salad. But he's also got to wait. I don't know who Kelsey called the mic, but I think it was pretty evident. Like it was all plain and plain and simple there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then again, that's him trying to communicate it to the tight end, and I don't know if that whole communication is down. He just doesn't look like he's confident. And to know what he's supposed to be doing. And I think that that impacts mm-hmm. the game as a whole. Like, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, everything's slow. But why isn't yeah. that a point of emphasis throughout the week, though, to make you feel me. comfortable? Like, look, this is what you're going to be dealing with. That should be a point of emphasis throughout the week. I mean, you're right. yeah, it should. <laughs> like, you know, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to be real. I mean, that's something that should be t- – you should go into every game feeling kind of comfortable, quite comfortable about what you're going to get. You knew that they were going to give you a five down front from time to time. You knew this should have been talked about like, look, man, hey, if we get this particular front, if we're in man protection, you know that you got a dual read. This is the right set that you need to take on a dual read. Do not step left. You need to set vertical. Keep eyes on him, but set the, for the widest guy. So once you see him bail, you're ready to take on that defensive end. But it didn't happen. Why is this not a point of emphasis throughout the week? I mean, uh, I don't know uh, if it is. It, 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 it could be. It could be. It could just not be transferring. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. it's not sinking into him. Mm. I mean, another thing is, you know, he's probably got to communicate with his guard, Herbig. Uh, maybe Herbig's not sure what he's supposed to be doing. Maybe he's like, hey, need you down here. You know what I mean? I don't know what kind of talk is <laughs> going on down there. Because uh, even on, on that particular play, Herbig, because they did yeah. run a mic blitz, so they sent the mic yeah. in there. So the mic came crashing in. So now, you know, Herbig came in. They, uh, he and Kelsey got picked. But then the defensive tackle, they ran a game with the mic linebacker and the defensive tackle. So the uh, Jordan Hicks came in there and picked them. Then um, the defensive tackle looped around, but Herbert didn't even come back for the damn D tackle. Dog. I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting there looking like, man, what, what, what are we what doing? Are we doing? <laughs> what, what are we doing? Like, are we, are we, are we manning everything up? <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> why, why did, why was that not switched off? Like, there's just so like, many. Dude, did like, he get rid of it? Did he get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> or no, like, you're blocking a, the wrong guy. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, because you had two guys on one and the damn – and you had two guys on Jordan Hicks and the damn defensive tackle came around clean. Now, the sack fumble had already happened, but it, it's just – you, I, man, it's just so many things I look at when I sit down and I break down this film. Like, I just went back and I just went through all the coaches' copies again and then, like, I separate all the plays and I go through it all again. And it's just like, man, what in the hell are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Not making the playoffs, that's for sure. It's it's so frustrating. I don't know about that, man. They still got a chance. Yeah, know, they still got a chance. They still got a chance. Right. They still got a chance. But it is just so frustrating <laughs> to sit there and watch this film, and it's just like, what in the hell are we doing? I mean, you know, you go, Kel- man, shout out to Kelsey. Uh, Fletcher Cox and BG for making the Pro Bowl. Congratulations, fellas. Oh, that, that's awesome. The Pro Bowlers. Pro Bowlers. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's 
Oh, Kelsey GG, man. didn't There's snap the ball man. two times. He forgot to slap the ball twice in the game. Uh, that's all that. Yeah, and yeah. then he had, and then the one play where they called false start on Jordan Maialata, he snapped the ball too late. Where it hit the uh, it hit the receiver on the foot, but they called a false start on Jordan Maialata. Yeah, man. I mean, it get like that sometimes, man. There yeah. was a packed house out there in Arizona. You know, the crowd <laughs> probably got to him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just kind of like, no. Yeah, that was one of those, man. Like, you trying to be like, I'm fucked up. My bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can you say? Yeah. Like, snap the fucking like, ball. <laughs> yeah. And that's, hey, 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 and I respect that. You like, look, man, hey, look. Hey, that, hey, My that, bad. Right. That's, right. that's on me. I forgot to snap it. Right. Everybody get a false start. All right, cool. No worries. All right, let's forget about that. Let's move on. <laughs> right. It's like when you're a tackle, when you're a tackle, you can blame the center or the quarterback. When you're hey. the center, you can't really blame anybody. No, you can't blame anybody because nah. you're like, damn, that was on you me. You just got to, ah. Yeah, my bad. That, that right there was all on me. I forgot to snap the ball. <laughs> Shit. I mean, happens. it happens, you know, or, you know, or sometimes you can be like me, be giddy and just go before everybody else. Hey. Are you false start as a fucking center? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because we can't go unless you go. You already gone. <laughs> false start, okay. Hey. Hey. But I tell you what, the best set you will ever take as an offensive lineman is a false start set. Oh, yeah. yeah, nice and clean. Definitely. Oh, Always. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, it, you Super know, quick. It, 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 yeah. it actually it, it shows the fan a glimpse of how we warm up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get out your stance. I mean, you're nice. you like, ah! Got the hands ready. Oh, uh, hands up. I mean, the quickest you've ever felt. And you're like, damn. Hey, yeah, I'm hey, the only hey, one moving. Hey, play the drill, D. Play the drill. Okay. <laughs> That's when Trey's like, hey, 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 come on now, five. Come on now, five. You can't be holding your cadence like that. Yeah, because yeah. five, now, because you, that, all right, so because we got other offensive linemen out here, because now we all right. <laughs> all right, hey, so. What? Hey, what? Well, hey, I just remember what Trey said. Hey, man, switch it to count, man. Switch it to count. Hey, hey, yeah. Get the beat on it, dog. Switch it up, dog. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. no play recommendations or nothing. Hey, nah, switch, switch it up. up switch it up. <laughs> Just snake, they change the count. You know what? Hey, Let's man. fuck it. We're going silent count from here on out because I can't time. even deal yeah. with your cadence. Let me, let me just go with Jack. Let me just go off Jack. I ain't even dealing with your cadence right now. You know what I'm saying? But okay, so since we got other guys that know it, didn't fire change, didn't he hold his count sometimes? Yeah, yeah. The rhythm it of means, it would change. It would well, change, but you know. From what I've seen, I think, I think that a lot of quarterbacks do, especially if there's some sort of like shenanigans going on in the middle of their cadence. They're kind of yeah. like, hey, what's happening here? And then the line is <laughs> like, Yo. yeah, we go. Because <laughs> you know, with five, it would always be blue 88, blue 88, sad hunt. But then when it, whenever it, it was something hey. going on, he'd be like, blue 88, blue 88. Oh, shit, I'm already <laughs> gone. I'm gone. Oh, I'm yeah. Gone. <laughs> I remember no. one time we was in the game in, in the huddle. <laughs> Shit, it was on three. Oh, and you yeah. know how he came to the line thinking it was on one. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. Yo, check Monday, check Monday. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah you felt that show. pressure. You knew yeah. it was about to come out. Because hey, hey, you could tell by his cadence. By he his said cadence, on three, yeah. on three, and then we got up there on the huddle. He the line. He, He's like, he went, blue, hey, blue, hey, Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday. That's Monday, Monday. <laughs> Don't, that don't sound like a three count. <laughs> yeah, when that happens, I automatically get off the rock late because I don't know what the hell's going on. I ain't gonna jump off sides. <laughs> oh man, hilarious, hilarious, it ha- man. It, it happens though. It happens, you know. Yeah. You just gotta be there for him though. But you know, Kelsey just had like some brain farts, man. I mean, man, that one, I was just like, damn, dog. Like, at least did you not get the count? Everybody else thought that bitch was on one. <laughs> no, I mean he ain't even moved. Bro, her big almost. Uh, <laughs> Herbert almost put it on him. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Herb, because Herbert was taking great footwork to get him. Yeah, position. Herbert was getting out of there. He's like, I'm gonna get good depth on this bucket step. I'm gonna get my hips open. Yeah. I'm gonna run down line. I'm gonna grab this elephant's tail, and we are uh, elephants on parade. <laughs> yes, yes. Man, it was, I mean, great footwork, awesome. Footwork. Without the lead elephant. Yeah, without the lead elephant, it was just that Kelsey was still there with the ball in his hand. Like, oh damn, my bad. 
My, that, that's on me, fellas. That's on me. All right, let's go. Let's keep moving. <laughs> I mean, but it happens, it, it, though, man. Yeah, but sometimes that could be like, you know, how I was just talking about. It could be like the cadence of the quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Hurts probably came out there thinking, shit, I probably told them it's on three. Because how yeah. his cadence was, it wasn't like it was on one. Mm-mm. You know, because yeah. I kind of picked up on his, you know, his cadence a little bit. Because you can, you can hear like mm-hmm. the cadence on TV. So, you know, it's kind of pronounced. So I think after a couple of weeks, you know, you can um you can get a little beat on it when he's trying to like go uh I got guess double count or go on one. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's very you can tell like the uh, the opening cadence part of it what what it's gonna be on. Mm-hmm. And and that like I don't think a lot of people like you know as as an offensive lineman, you get used to the rhythm of the cadence. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Because it's not, you don't. Yeah. You're, you're not listening it. for one. You're not listening yeah. for three huts. You're yeah. not listening you, you, for the you, color. You're just listening for that quick, like. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're listening to the <laughs> rhythm of it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, right. and, and, and that's, and if that rhythm changes, then now it's a problem. And now, especially when you have uh, this group now, you they've only been playing with Hertz for two weeks now. It takes a little time to get that rhythm down, you know, so. Yeah, and you you right about man, that. I'll tell uh, you what. about that rhythm thing, man. Cause like, you know, even when we just walk up to the line and you know he'd say, "All right, second color," you mm-hmm. know he, he's not saying nothing nothing else after that other. You know, say why did he white? It's like yeah. it's so distinctively different. You know, like mm-hmm. you can tell if it's on color, if it's yeah. on sound. That sound shit would always get me. Like I'm, I hate it for a sound. Like, yeah, because then he's like, all right, everybody, we on the line. Nobody Stupid. can't say shit. You Stupid. can't make a call. Yeah. He's like, bro, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, what if yeah. I'm blitzing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey. <laughs> when you go on three, though, when you go on three and you get up to the line and you have to change the mic or something like that, right? So you have to check the, change the mic. You get your calls all adjusted. And then, and then you think it's on one. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, that is a lonely feeling when you <laughs> yeah. pop up out of your stance and you look yeah. around. Yeah. Damn it! Damn it! You had a beautiful that a couple of times. Or yeah. Was like Jack. Like all right, dude. My bad. Like, <laughs> he's changing. I'm trying to change the mic, dog. Like it gets real confusing. It's like, all right. Fuck it. I'm on three. I'm on three. Oh no! Wait, five, six. And you're like, oh shit. What is it on? Uh, all right, fuck it, it's on one. Like, it's on right? one. <laughs> and then you're trying to, to like, you're trying to read the quarterback's cadence to be like, man, is it on three on is this first on color? One? Let me see if I can tell that rhythm yet. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It might be on one here. Yeah. I better be safe. I don't want to get beat off the line. I'm going to go on one. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you take that beautiful set and you're all by yourself. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Great that's pregame rep. That, that's, that, that's no good. That's no good. <laughs> Hilarious, man. Guys, but what's our you, scenarios here of making the playoffs, though? I mean, we need uh, Washington to lose. Washington loses to Carolina, right? And yeah. then we, we have to win, and then we have to beat Washington? Yeah, we have to win. out. If Washington wins, we're, di- we're out of it, no matter what our schedule, no oh, matter what we do win. in these last couple of games. I mean, Keep pounding, man. That quarterback was just in the strip club without a mask on. So but I think Alex Smith going to be back. He had kind of like a banged-up calf, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it's. I mean, it's, I mean buddy, is he yet? It's on that bad leg, man. Yeah, it's, so, on, it's so. on his leg. So I mean, you know, bro, I mean, he gonna nibble hey, but, down him anyway. But you know, what I'm saying like, okay, so Dwayne Haskins is in the strip club, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Silk, I mean, you know, silk beanie. Huh? You said what? That? Had the nice silk beanie. Yeah, yeah, had a silk <laughs> beanie on. So you know, we we I think that and you know he might be onto something. Maybe he found the cure. I believe that's his loungewear. Loungewear. Yeah, so a little silk beanie. Some booty cheeks and cocoa butter and, and body glitter. It might be, you know, <laughs> you get it FDA approved. He might be on to something. That's that's probably the treatment Trump got. I would yeah, imagine, you right? know what I'm saying. Yeah, some butt cheeks, b- cocoa butter, and body glitter. There you go. Get on through. <laughs> hey, it looked like everybody was there, unmasked but willingly. You know. Yeah. yeah. Feel bad for that girl's grandparents though. She yeah. gonna go see her grandparents for the holidays. And they, you know, got pictures of you all over there. Right now. Look at you. Look at look look at you, baby. Look at this. This is this is you. All I'm not talking about you. the pictures, dude. I'm not talking about that? the pictures. I'm just talking about the transmission to the elderly. You know what I mean? You gotta be responsible. 
Okay, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job there, Todd. <laughs> It's bigger than that. It's bigger than the pictures. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm thinking she's not really worried about Nana. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, man, I forgot where we were. But yeah, all right. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, so there is no place like home for the holiday. <laughs> oh, man. So like I said, man, I think that Jalen Hurts, man, you know, he continues to impress me. You know, uh, he makes some really nice throws, made some very nice timing throws. I mean, finding Greg Ward in the back of the end zone twice, I thought was just huge. Um, taking those one-on-one -on -one shots down the sideline was huge again, man. So I think that, you know, they might have something special with this young man if he continues to progress. How do you guys see this playing out with Carson, though? Like, you know... Is Jalen the guy moving forward? I think it's hard to say, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I think as an organization, you want to be able to make it work with Carson because, like, how invested you are, how fucked you'll be moving on from here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With the with the cap situation, but I mean, if you're looking at it just uh performance out of this season. I feel like you got to move away from Carson. It seems like, I don't know. seems, seems like he needs a new, a new surroundings, new, yeah. new color on his helmet. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know, man. It's a tough situation. I'm glad I don't got to be in the front office here for this. You know, man, they've already gave him 50 something mil. Yeah. I mean, it, nothing's yeah. tough. Nothing's really tough for him. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah, for him. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. good. Go ahead and cut me. Fuck, I yeah. don't care. Yeah. <laughs> don't need it. They, they, he can they talk as sideways cut. as he wants to. Hmm. They don't even got to cut me. $108 million, I'll sit on every bench at the fucking link. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I said like, that. for real. You don't, you don't want me? All right, you know, well, in, in a year or two, y'all find a trade partner, mm -hmm. and I'll go somewhere else. I mean – He's always going to be fighting an uphill battle here anyway. You know, yeah. you got the backup quarterback and the head coach's statue outside your workplace every Sunday. That's a lot of pressure anyway, because how often do top quarterbacks or top uh, drafted quarterbacks actually win a Super Bowl? You know, mm -hmm. like that yeah. shit's hard to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go to the NFC Championship game and you can like, you know, um, don't have all these records and whatnot, but to win that Lombardi at the end, man, it's 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 kind of hard, and it's it's, it's going to always be uh, everything is going to it's going to always feel like the weight of the world on his shoulders leading this team, this franchise, because you know he was a part of it, but he wasn't he wasn't really a part of it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like he didn't play in the big game, he didn't deliver the game. You know he he put in the the, the address, he drove us halfway. <laughs> Yeah, and somebody else took us the rest of the way, you know. So yeah, that's gonna always be in the back of his mind coming here, and then seeing how Doug reacts to, I guess, backup quarterbacks, the success he has with backup quarterback, uh, you know, as opposed to with Carson, you know. Mm -hmm. I know, um, Doug, his 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 play calling, you know, it does changes from quarterback to quarterback. That's relatively because the quarterback changes the plays, you know. He wants to run what he wants to run, and you know, rightfully so. Like you, you as the quarterback, you should be a part of the game plan, and you should mm -hmm. be given, you know, the coaches, you know, ideas as, as to what you're comfortable with. But it shouldn't be a kill kill on forty percent of the fucking plays. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's saying you changing it because I guess either you saw something, mm -hmm. or you know, you just wanted to go off strip. But as far as you know, it being here. I think they'll find something or somebody. I really, I, I want them to see them go out in number. You know, they, they, yeah. they, they're going to need a quarterback. Hell, they play yeah. a game this year without a quarterback. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody thinks he's going to, like, reunite with Frank Wright and Indy and everything's just going to go back to normal. He's going to return to form. Well, I'm like, damn, wasn't that a collaborative effort that got these guys to the, um, <clears throat> the Lombardi? Like, yeah, Carson <laughs> played great that year. But that was a great team because without him, they still accomplished the ultimate mm -hmm. goal. Yeah. So, 
you know, I don't really buy into the whole the Frank Wright scenario. Yeah, he might be comfortable with the guy, but you know, do we really know that was all Frank Wright? We don't know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, very true, but we shall see. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, you know, with this thing moving forward. Because, I mean, you know, when, you, when you've when you lost like this and, you know, and now you've been benched. And so the question was asked, if they lo- know that they're not going into the playoffs. You guys have never been benched? No, I've never been benched. You haven't been yeah, benched? you ever been benched? Of course. Kelsey. I got benched. When? Yeah. Well, was, that was that, – I mean – wasn't that more of like you guys are battling for a job going into the season type thing? You weren't benched like in the middle of the season, were you? I'm oh, trying no, to remember. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, did you get I got benched? benched after week two in Indy. Oh. I mean, I got benched for, for you know, other reasons in Philly and wasn't able to start. But, oh, yeah, okay. you know, we, we know that. showing up late, uh, stuff like yeah. that. But, yeah, I got benched in Indy. <laughs> I tell you what, when you get benched and you head to the sidelines, bro. When you go to the sidelines after you've been benched, uh, at least no me, back. I didn't even know what the hell the score of the game was. Yeah, I didn't pay no attention. I was <laughs> still <laughs> over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Maybe that was also that point in my career. I mean, that was that was your last season. Yeah, last season I was just over it. Yeah, I mean you had just done the naked <laughs> the naked issue of of, of of Sports Illustrated. I mean, you know. <laughs> the naked uh, issue. Yeah, 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 you're right. That did happen, didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, that didn't age well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you had just done the naked body issue and then Ding. you know. <laughs> it's like, Ding dong, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. things just escalated quickly, you know. Yeah, just, Next just, thing I know, I was on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> just that's yeah, they, they go. Apparently, not a fan of the shoot. Not a fan of the shoot. <laughs> they, they weren't a fan of the shoot, man. But, so um, were you, hey, when you got this right, so did you just have to just pay attention at all the special teams meetings? <laughs> What, <laughs> bro? Like when you got I bench. didn't even dress when I got benched. <laughs> I didn't so, even dress. Oh wow, bro! I was a game day. I was a game day inactive, so I got a fresh <laughs> yeah. wetsuit every week. I had oh, hella wow. snacks in my pockets. Wow, you just got all yeah, the way. It, just it was like... actually. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Great time. We're oh, laughing with you, not at you at this one. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I got to experience that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great experience to see how the other side lives. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all the way. When they like, look, were you like a? Uh, you don't even dress for the game. Like that's yeah, that's that's pretty rough, there, man. Yeah, I must have really done something <laughs> wrong over there. <laughs> yeah. Why did he even bring him? Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. Uh, you know. I think we're going to sit you this week. All right, cool. So, uh, you know, field goal duties. No, I think we're just going to put you in a sweatsuit. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that just changes the game right there, just all the way. Oh, well, at least, at least you can go out feeling fresh, you know. Your body's fresh, you know. They say you had a, a pocket full of snacks. <laughs> snacks on deck, bro. <laughs> Hey, no. some gum. Yeah. Oh man, I mean that right there. That had, it must. I mean, I know it felt. I mean, I, I, I'm quite sure at that time in your career, you you was over it anyway. But nah, man. bro, it's still it's still like, it's still an ego <laughs> shot, bro. It, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Like, no matter how like, much I like, want to admit, fuck? I was over it, man. That shit ate me alive. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, yeah. you know, you get to the end of your career. And I feel like what gets us to this level is is our ego and, you know, right. maybe thinking that we're better than we are. And I think that that's why a lot of players are, have a hard time letting it go at the end because they're not realistic with their ability. Mm-hmm. So I was still on a fucking mission. I was going to go out there and start for another team and yada, yada. It still took a couple a – couple, uh, a little while to set in that I was done. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everything everything happens for a reason. Yeah, there you go. There you I go. like that. Yeah, I like yeah, that. There you go. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, let's see. Um, moving on. Let's look and talk about this defense, man. So I thought that you know, with a depleted secondary, you know, it, Kyler Murray to go out there and have five hundred four hundred six yards passing. It's, it's pretty impressive. You know, but I thought that our secondary went out there and they scrapped, man. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins with with um what they how many catches he had? He had nine catches, 169 yards. I mean, he's gonna give you that, you know. I mean, he must have like the strongest hands in the NFL. It has to be some of these catches, bro. Ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Jack, you know, you don't think? Yeah, I mean. It, it's not even hitting the ground, dude. Like, I'm just like the guy that they had him going up against was like selling insurance like a week ago. So no, he was he was on. Um, I, I think he was selling tires. Tires, yeah. yeah. So I mean, so, Mickey Thompson's get you some get you some but, nice radios, dog. But but he just finished the oil yeah. But change, bro, he does that to everybody. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does that to everybody. I mean, if I was a, that dude, he, I'm like. I did just as good as anybody else in the fucking league. I'm 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 a starter in this league. Look at what DeAndre Hopkins did to me. Nothing out of the normal. <laughs> Cause that you one know, catch I'm was absolutely that game. Yeah, that, that catch was absolutely ridiculous though, man. To go ahead and make that big catch in the end zone and to bring it down with one hand and the ball not wobble at all. You know. But he got some um Fucking other mittens over there. Like he catches everything. He does. But I thought, I thought the catch that the old man had was was equally as impressive. Like he caught it through someone or something. Yeah. Like he, he reached around him to catch it or something. It, it was falling was down. Pretty, yeah, out of the back of the end zone. I mean, I expected that just because the secondary was kind of like hammered and everybody's injured and. Even guys went down in the game. So, you know, they did about as best as they could. And mm-hmm. for the outcome to be what it was, man, they gave an admirable effort. You know, they was they, they got after it as much as they could. They, they forced turnovers. I mean, mm-hmm. which, they, which is what they, they haven't been doing all year. Yeah. My guy Singl- Singleton still flying around with his hair. <laughs> hey, know, man. Like, like his hair's on fire. So, I, you know, I, I think they players. found a starter <laughs> in Alex Singleton, man. You know, um, I think he's a legit middle line, uh, linebacker for these guys, man. I think he's going to be all right for them, man. You know, to come, he's been leading the league in tackle. I mean, leading this team in tackles over the past couple games now. I mean, yeah. talk, talking about double digit tackles, man. I'm he's always you, 22 around the ball. Football campaign for Singleton. Say what? 20, uh, 2020 Pro Bowl campaign. Uh, 2020 campaign for Singleton. Oh, uh, 2021. Cause, you know, 2021. Kind of Maybe, like man. That. I'm telling you, because he's not. He's not oh. some, yeah, he's not a young kid. I mean, he's been, well, he is young. He's been there for, been he's around the league. He's been, yeah, he's only, yeah, he's 27, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty, he's pretty up there. I mean, he's, he's, he's not young in football sense. He's just young as an NFL experience. Because I think he played over in the CFL. Yeah, he played in the CFL for three mm-hmm. years. So, you know. Oh, okay. But I think he plays with a high energy, man. I, I like him out there at linebacker. He makes a lot of plays. You know, he's always around the ball. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to see a little bit more pressure on Kyler Murray in this particular game, but it just wasn't, this, you know, you didn't see much from him throughout the game. I mean, the only come out of this game with only just one sack was, you know. Well, I think it was more of a strategic rush. I, I I don't I don't believe they was trying to like send the house out of him. I mean, they tried. He's a man, the dude's athlete. If he gets outside the pocket, mm-hmm. you know, it's more than likely he's gonna beat you with his feet. <clears throat> and yeah. with those receivers that he had outside, you know, they he know the secondary was banged up. So hell, like he just chose to use his arms. But I think they did a pretty good job of kind of like containing him as far as not letting him break contain. So yeah. You know, for what it's worth, yeah. he, he didn't really kill him too much on the ground. It was just more or less, you know, with a depleted secondary, I mean, you had to take your chances. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, he, what did he finish with? Let's see. They they only had one sack. They only had two quarterback hits on him, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, and he fumbled one of those. So Yeah, and he fumbled one of them. You know, but like I said, man, I, I thought that the defense came out there scrappy. They played with some high energy. Of course, you get hit with the fake punt. You know that that yeah. hurts you a little bit. 
that takes the win out your sails. But I think all in all that the guys went out there and they battled, man. You know, it was just I think that this team had uh, in the secondary just, you know, that, that, that Arizona was going to get theirs. But when you go back and watch this game, man, I felt like, man, we probably could have won this game, man, depending on certain situations. But we, we, we weren't able to pull it off. Yeah, man, they left some um some meat on the bone, so to speak, you know, and I feel, you know, as though the last couple plays, you know, I think when the offense got back on the field, I think they went to the Hail Mary a play too soon. Because mm-hmm. when he went, when he threw it the first time, I believe it was 10 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. So, you know, you can you can complete like a little underneath route, out of bounds or whatever, probably like six or seven seconds. You know, instead of throwing it to the end zone, now it's incomplete. Now, you know, we have two seconds left. Now you have to go for the end zone. So, yeah. you know, I just think the end game adjustments or those last two plays could have been – you could have used that one play a little bit wiser than, than what they had did, you know, instead of selling out with 10 seconds left. But, gotcha. you know, man, it, it's it been a while since we've seen, you know, a functioning – a functional, uh, respectable offense. Like, they actually mm-hmm. – moved the ball they got first downs like it looked like it looked like a regular offense that you would normally see you know yeah. uh again I, I don't think I, what they didn't have it the only turnover that he had was the safety so again yeah. he played a, he played a clean game in that aspect you know the now line, he had three fumbles but they didn't they didn't hurt him like he had the one fumble that was out I mean I, mm-hmm. I want to say it went out of bounds the other one he picked up and yeah. he also completed a pass. And then, yeah. you know, of course, the, the the one fumble. So, I mean, what can you say? I mean, it, it happens. They, 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 they didn't really cost them. So, mm-hmm. he's just got to be a little bit more mindful of taking care of the ball. But, mm-hmm. man, I, yeah, well, I, I guess we'll see what happens this week uh, against – who they got? The Cowboys. Wow. Yeah, they got the Cowboys. Yeah, well, I don't know where you – I don't know where uh, – oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Where's Todd? Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's there. He's there. I'm here, bro. I'm trying to battle through all these technical difficulties over here, waging the war. I'm staring at Trey frozen on my screen right now. It's a real funny face. Just, I don't know what to do, guys. I, I just I'm at a loss right now. I need yeah, to do this hang- in person. I, I'm yeah. not a huge fan of the video video conferencing, but it's what we got right now, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm tired of Zoom. Really, but tired. I would yeah, like too. to say that. Frozen. From looking at this uh, and seeing how the defense has played over the last stretch, man, I think that's that's real promising uh, moving mm-hmm. forward. You know what I mean? Like, I feel yeah. like the defense has been playing consistently, whether or not they got guys hurt, got guys out. They're able to go out there and battle and li- really scratch and claw to be able to put us in a position to be able to win the game if we get some sort of offensive output. And yeah. I think that that is, is very promising moving forward because, you know, you got some some young players over there bouncing around, like yeah. like our guy Singleton, which we were talking about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like him. Yeah. I like yeah. him. Pro Bowl 22. <laughs> Pro Bowl 22. <laughs> so not next year, huh? Well, isn't the Pro Bowl in January? It's always the... Right. Yeah, but it's for the 21 season, though. But for the 21 season. Right. Yeah, yeah. Pro Bowl 22. Not Not this Pro Bowl. Cause they already voted, right? Yeah, but it's twenty one. No, it's twenty one. But this coming Pro Bowl won't it be twenty one? No, this is Pro Bowl twenty. This is the the twenty twenty Pro Bowl for okay. this season. The twenty twenty right. season. Yeah, then twenty one Singleton Pro Bowl twenty one. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, there we go. We got All you. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, got, I don't have to make you wait any longer. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. spot him a whole year. Like, yeah. you, know, no, 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 you gave me some of that wine, man, right. for a quick minute, man. <laughs> 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 one, we're wine like, hey T, how much you wait, T? Uh, 340, 350? Okay, hey Todd, Todd, what? How much you wait? Like 330? That's like a 800 pounds of deuce. 800 <laughs> pounds of deuce. That's like yeah. 800 pounds of deuce block. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with Juan Math in like a little different scenario. Like, why don't you, hey, Todd, Todd, you keep working hard. You work hard. In another two, three years, you'll be in the Pro Bowl too. Like, oh, shit, I want to be in it this year. What are you talking about, Juan? <laughs> Juan was yeah. hilarious, man. Uh, yeah, uh, I to Juan, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah Juan's Chicago. in Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yes, yeah, I, I, I haven't talked to him in a. It's been probably about a month, couple months now. Man, we need to get Juan on the show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, reach out to him. We need to get Juan on the Zoom. Well, you know, we got to wait till the season over with, man, because you know Juan ain't, man. Yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah. Juan watching yeah, Juan ain't got no time. They yeah, won man. yesterday. They won yesterday, and he's watching film. Yeah. Like, yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to wait till we get Juan. We got to get the season over with, then we'll get Juan, because, you know, it, he'll, his mind will be all over the place right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> but cool, man. Hey, Jack, tell us about the salon, man. All right, man. So, you know, it's that time of year. You know, uh, ladies, you know, just come on, step on down to uh, Seven Zen Hair Artistry. We are located at 523 Delphi Drive in Sewell, New Jersey. I ask for my wife, D, specializes in all types of hairstyle, hair care products, and also coming soon, skin care products. You can also visit her at sevenzenhair.com for any hair care products. Uh, extensions, lace fronts, all that good stuff. Uh, also, when you're on the site, use promo code BLINDSIDE for a 20% off coupon. So that's sevenzenhair.com. Uh, also, check us, out, check, check us out on YouTube at Sevenzen Hair Artistry. That's Sevenzen Hair Artistry. Todd, go ahead and tell us about yours, man. Tell us about Body Check. All right. All right. Yep. 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 Uh, Body Check Wellness is a health and wellness company that specializes in hemp derived CBD products, full spectrum. And we also have a broad spectrum. If you're not down with the THC, I don't know many people that aren't, um, <laughs> but we also have the THC free product, but we also have some mushroom products. If you don't even like uh, hemp products. So we also got hemp mixed with mushroom products. And we even got shit your dog can eat so that he can chill out and take a good long nap. So if you would like to check out some of Body Check Wellness's products, go to bodycheckwellness.com, add a bunch of shit into your cart. And then when you go to checkout, use promo code BLINDSIDE, that's B-L-I-N-D-S-I-D-E, at checkout for 20% off of your purchase. And we will get that shipped to you immediately go check it out live longer be healthier because i said so there you go hey man tell riley man you see me get repping my flyer gear tonight man <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> open tonight tonight the nba yeah the nba is back man you know christmas Great in a couple of days y'all ready for the holidays uh, about as ready as i'm gonna be i you feel know? you on that yeah, we'll see, man. I mean, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right, cool, man. Well, y'all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Y'all enjoy it, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the other side. Be safe. Be safe. All right, dude. Hey.